Ningang, it's your boy Retro back again with another reaction video. Yeah, yeah. Today we got my boy Doug in Exile. Yo, big shouts to Doug in Exile for breaking this information to us um, as it came out. It's this is you know fairly new. Uh, we got Trump's legal team announcing that they're gonna be coming at Fannie Willis in a different approach. Um, and, and I've been seeing like little headlines and stuff about you know how Trump's legal team is gearing up you know, to fight back. And it sounds like they're not just coming at her, you know, to win this case, but they're coming at Fannie to shut her whole team, like her whole administration down. Her whole organization is going to be um, uprooted is what it sounds like because they found, I don't know, some, a way to slip through the cracks. Something's going on there that's really foul. I don't, it's something stinks. That's all I know. Something does stink. So we're gonna hop straight into it, guys, and check out what Doug and Exile has found on the case. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button for me, guys. We're on the road to the truth, guys. Hop aboard for the journey. Let's get into it. Fannie Willis just got the worst news of her life as she pursues Trump, but now Trump's team is going after her. Yep. about the condition of Fulton County prisons. This is a new line of attack mm. and it's going to work. I'm Doug Tenaple and welcome to Exile. Before we start, I want to remind you guys to like, subscribe, follow us. It really helps push this message out. It's the multiplier of this channel and it's the only reason why you ever heard about it is because other people did it for you. So thank you in advance. This is an article written by a woke NBC reporter, so you'll see a bias in it, but ends up revealing everything. Georgia GOPers may have found another way to target Fannie Willis. So he's already admitting that this is a weakness that uh, they can exploit, and you'll see where they're already exploiting it coming up. Republicans have taken a new interest in the troubled Fulton County Jail as a potential line of attack on the Georgia prosecutor. Georgia Senate Republicans have chosen a convenient time to take interest in the squalid conditions at the Fulton County Jail. Remember, this is front written by a Democrat that admits the jail is squalid under Fannie Willis. But now he's throwing a little bit of shade at the Republicans saying, oh, they're only interested in it to go after Fannie Willis. Yes, that's right. This is how the game is played and you guys invented it. So the good news is the Republicans are now playing the game that the Democrats said. I'll give you an example. Republicans are only going after this prison now because of the timing of Fannie Willis going after Trump. But Fannie Willis was guilty of it way before that because Fannie Willis only launched her case against Trump because he ran for president. See, this is about timing. And once again, the timing is what the Democrats are guilty of for weaponizing the system against Trump. And now the Republicans are fighting back doing the same thing. And I'm all for it because that's the way things are done now. And you never want only one side fighting in a battle. So Republicans are showing up and they're fighting back. For decades, social justice activists and people incarcerated there have sounded the alarm about the jail's conditions, which have contributed to deaths staff mm. corruption, I've overcrowding, and yeah. crumbling facilities. This led to the job. Honestly, that's what I, that was my first thoughts. When I heard that this case was being brought about in the Fulton County jurisdiction, I thought about the conditions of that jail and like the things that I've been seeing on social media, or I had seen on social media and headlines of, you know, uh, people passing away. Um, and this the condition, the overall conditions of the jail it just sounds like it's inhumane. Justice Department opening a civil rights probe earlier this year. How's that for Fannie Willis, civil rights leader, as you got get a civil rights probe opened up on one of your jails? But it wasn't until Thursday that Republicans announced a plan to investigate the situation just this Thursday. Among those facing charges in Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis's racketeering indictment of former President Trump as several people involved with the Georgia Republican Party. Each one of them, as well as Trump himself, had to appear at the Fulton County Jail for booking, where they saw the squalid conditions, and we all know about the deaths and all that. That's part of why they're trying to punish Trump at, at Fulton Prison. They want to just have that mess stuck to him. It's not working. Mm. It's not working. Trump has raised $45 million in the third quarter, one of the records for him that's going to launch him ahead in 2024. So thank you, Fannie Willis. Keep crying. 
So about this probe, its political motives seem clear. Some Georgia Republicans have pushed to impeach Willis and disrupt her case against Trump and his co-defendants, all of whom have pleaded not guilty. And it looks as though the conditions at the jail, which predate Willis's time as a district attorney, that's not an excuse, could eventually be used as pretext for that. Willis will likely face scrutiny over her use of resources and strategy in addressing an enormous backlog of cases that grew worse during the corona pandemic. So she's not prosecuting criminals. Quote, the DA is required by Georgia law to have a grand jury inspect the san sanitary condition of the jail and the treatment of inmates. And it isn't clear she's carried out that duty. That's one way of saying it. Another way of saying it is she didn't carry out that duty. That's the, uh, from the state. It sounds like Fannie Willis is only acting upon her job, her uh, her obligations, only when she has a criminal that you know plays personal interest. She has personal interest in, and she wants to take down. And, and it doesn't even have to be a criminal; just anyone that she wants to weaponize, weaponize you know, her legal system against. It's crazy. You can't do that. Um, you're supposed to be taking care. You were appointed, you know, to take care of, you know, the overall system. And you're not doing that. Come on now. Get her out of here. Another way of saying it is she didn't carry out that duty. That's the, uh, from the state senator. One of the chamber's top Republicans, quote, she did find time and resources to pursue politically chosen cases when the jail has been deteriorating, now. resulting in deaths. Oh, the Atlantic My Journal reported exactly. Friday, for example, that Republicans plan to focus solely on the Fulton County Jail with the probe. We're solely focusing on this. That's what I mean by this is a new line of attack and a major one that they're pursuing right now. Although they, quote, have discussed expanding the probe to examine a raft of other similar issues. So rather than look at a jail conditions as part of a systemic problem, Georgia Republicans seems set on pinpointing Fulton County and its district attorney as a very special problem. Keep crying and keep complaining about the timing of this because this is something you guys started. Fannie Willis on the timing of Trump running for president, then her going after him, that's something you did. And then you're just upset that Republicans shot you with your own gun. Thanks for hanging out with us in exile. This is where the happy people are. Yo, there we have it, guys. Not so fun when you're getting a taste of your own medicine, guys. And it sounds like that's exactly what's happening here uh, with Fannie Willis, her whole case. Um, it may be getting shut down sooner than we thought uh, with Trump's legal team coming after her in such manner, you know, coming at the way she's been, you know, using her duties just to, you know, as a weapon, you know, selectively choosing when she's going to, you know, do her role, uh, perform it. I don't know what she's, what she's actually doing, you know, um, when she doesn't have any uh, personal interest in a criminal she wants to pursue. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Yo, you guys make sure to let me know what you guys think of all this in the comment section below. Also, make sure you guys hit that like button for me and hit that subscribe button, guys. We're on the road to the truth, guys. Hop aboard for the journey. Y'all catch you guys on the next one. We come. Make her, make her.